good exercise to check your understanding of gases and the concept of density is to think about the relationship between the number density and the mass density of a gas. So starting with the ideal gas law and the molar mass of a gas, you can derive an equation for the mass density of a gas. So the ideal gas law, of course, is PV equals nRT, where P is the pressure of the gas, V is the volume of the gas occupies, N is the number of gas moles present, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the temperature, the absolute temperature of the gas. So this relationship is the ideal gas law. Thinking about the number density first, let's rearrange the uh, ideal gas law to represent the number density. The number density is the number of moles per volume of space. So I can rearrange this equation by dividing both sides of the equation by RT. And um, both sides of the equation by V. In this way, V cancels here. RT cancels here, and I'm left with the expression N over V, which is the number density of a gas, is equal to P over RT. This expression here is telling me the number density of a gas, and at a particular pressure and temperature, and of course R is constant, the number density will be constant for any gas. So it doesn't matter what the gas is, the number density will be the same. So for example, if you think about the gas argon versus helium, in a given volume, at a given pressure, the number density will be the same, and at a given temperature. So argon is heavier than helium, but the number density <clears throat> will be the same. Okay, let's now think about mass density. Um, if you think about, just think about the mass density, the mass of the gas occupying this volume for argon versus the mass occupying um, this volume for helium. The volumes are the same. It's clear that this gas would be heavier because it, it individual gas particles are heavier. So the density the mass density for argon is greater than the density, the mass density for helium. So let's look back over at our equation for number density and let's derive an equation for the mass density. Uh, mass density is mass per volume, okay, mass per unit volume. So to derive that equation, we can take our number density equation and multiply both sides of the equation by the molar mass of a gas, and I'll call the molar mass mm. Okay? And when we do this, the units for molar mass are grams per mole. Uh, the units here are mole, the units here will be liters. And so what we end up with with this expression is mass per volume for an ideal gas is equal to the pressure times the molar mass of that particular gas divided by the gas constant divided by the temperature. So in this way, this value here is the density. In particular, it's the mass density of a gas is equal to the pressure of that gas times the molar mass of the gas divided by the gas constant divided by the temperature of the gas.